And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So I just got done recording uh, my reaction to Ruby Volume 5, Episode 1. Won't talk about it here because I don't want to spoil it because I don't know if this will be uploaded before the week uh, passes that it's up on uh, YouTube. But if you are a first member, it is now available as of the recording of this video. So anyways, I figured out a name for her, so we're going to go with Avril Lavigne. Because there was a... Uh, I was thinking of like, you know, various... Uh, I wouldn't say punk rock. It's Avril Lavigne's not punk rock. She's... She's pop, essentially, but I was like, yeah, she fits. Fed, warrior. And then, we need somebody else. Dreadlord. Oh, yeah, Mant Mantress of the Dominatrix. Uh, her original name was Mantress. I was just like, eh, hey, was that Dominatrix on there? I mean, we're going, the, the whole gag is the BDSM thing, so. <laughs> the, the gag, <laughs> literally. Okay, so when we last left off, we took over the Hmong encampment, and yeah, we're going to have a. Fun time getting rid of that chaos corruption. All right, so what I could have is yeah, I'm gonna have Serena up here take that out, and since we took out that agent, I'm gonna have her rejoin. Uh, but the question remains: Should I wait for her to get all the way over there and rejoin her? Actually, I could set her to raid. Right, yeah, they could like meet in the middle and then get over there. That's what we'll do. Look. Okay, my cats are attacking each other. <laughs> His loyalty just shot back up to nine. This, this guy has such mixed opinions about me. The ocean awaits. Alright, hopefully the hopefully the damn elves don't like declare war on me while I'm down here, because they they have done that before. But again, if they did, well actually if they declare war on me, they're gonna like instantly attack him. And I also gotta be mindful that the uh these guys, they've got, I think they've got settlements around here, so I gotta be mindful of that as well. My cats are just losing it. Actually, hold on, let me check something here. Okay, I just had to make sure that the sound was actually recording, because I, the, the sound bar just, I don't know, it, it'll fluctuate, like right now it's showing that I'm talking, but earlier it was like barely moving, so I don't know. It's unreliable. Oh yeah, the next turn that'll be done. Actually, I'm, I might want to go with that right at some point. Uh, 375 slaves and slave the or slave rate decline at 50%. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's go for it. So yeah, I know that they're at war with them. But I won't be too bothered if she like gets knocked down a few pegs cuz that'll make it'll make it easier to confederate with her. All right, so we can skip over her moves. I don't really care what she's doing. Now hopefully I'll be able to get her hydra as well. Though by the time I confederate with her, I'll probably already have my own hydras. Tharkaron declared war with the Hmong. We got a foreign trespasser. There is an interloper among us. I suppose I could give my... I suppose I could give my quick thoughts on the vo or the episode of the... of Ruby. It was a slow, it was kind of a, uh, a slow burner. It was just kind of setting things up, which I'm okay with. I don't mind them taking their time. Because you, you, you usually uh, they have an action sequence at the beginning of each episode. Or not the beginning of each episode, but at the beginning of the uh, season premiere. Oh, shit, yeah, we got to worry about them. So, yeah, that's right, I've got her training dudes up. Oh, yeah, and they declared war on them, so that'll help a bit. But yeah, they, they pretty much were just setting up what the volume was going to entail. Which, uh, the great arena, yeah, that's down here. Let's get a road. Uh, yeah, I don't need to maximize that because I'm fucking doing fine with cash. 
Although that might be subject to change here in a second, because... Right, let's see... I can get some... Cold One Knights, which are really nice to have, or... Yeah, I want to get me some sorceresses. And I'll wait for it to get to rank 5, and then I can... 235, if I took that down, that would only... Yeah, that would only drop it by a little bit. Still at negative nine here. Gives. Oh yeah, the chaos corruption. Maybe I should have left her in there. Uh. Okay, so I'll sorcerer's a way to turn taxes off, but I can at least. Okay, so yeah, they have none of the slaves, which is good. And what's also gonna suck is having to move across here. Alright, so if I all ass down this way, I can move up here, replenish. Because I need to... What I really want to do is kind of just steamroll over this entire summit so I can capture the main one, which is over there. So that way, once it inevitably riots, the, I will be able to actually, you know, predict where they're going to show up at. So they've got an army there. I don't... Yeah, I think they should be able to beat uh, the whatchamacallits. If they attacked Harkaldra, there's an iffy chance they could hold out. Yeah, but I think if yeah, they turn to normal movement speed, they wouldn't be able to reach it anyways. Actually, you know what I should do? A smart move. We need to just move her over there. Okay, and then let me reassign her recruitment. Oh, harpies. We can get harpies now. Uh, yeah, let's get three of them. Then I'll actually get her in the settlement, then I'll finish off what I'm getting her. All right, Captain Sail, damn you. Let's see. There's a chance that the AI accidentally stumbled into all the things. They won't actually pursue the uh, the thingy was it's but they will run into them and you know inevitably claim them. Okay, so yeah, the high elves are about to start their uh, ritual thingy was it. I'm kind of I'm slightly behind the the uh, lizardmen and Skaven. So yeah, I need to like. Music just randomly booms up. Yeah, I need to definitely, like, wrap things up with the Hmong sooner rather than later. I don't think there's any settlements here that offer the stuff, or the scrolls. Let's see, where is a settlement that does? Because whoever has it is probably who I'm going to be gunning for next. Oh, the red people do. Matter of fact... Dreadlord, awaiting command. Words are crucial, don't you think? No, nope, we can't. Yours carefully. Indeed. Uh, let's get a non-aggression pact. And I will give you military access. Definitely not. Okay. <laughs> you're intruding on my territory, so yeah, I guess you. I guess you feel like you already have it. Lord of Fleas, share your inanities with me. I'm ill-considered. Ill-considered. Well, you've only got one settlement anyway. Actually, would you be willing to confederate? The strong no, and even if you did, why the hell would I? Why the hell would I want that? Where are your five settlements at? Let's see, who are you at war with? Oh, uh, you're probably taking land from the Blue Vipers, aren't you? That's probably what he's doing. Okay, so we've got one down there. Really? That's all we got is the two? And there's the third one down there, which uh, Marathi has. And then, yeah, Marathi won't be doing any of the rituals, so... Pretty much on my own there. 
course, I could do the missions, and that would kind of bump me up to be, like, neck and neck with everybody else. Because I've got two of them currently waiting for me to be done. Oh, speaking of which, I already started it. Yeah, it's alright, though. It's not about who finishes first. I've actually encountered Trace, or Trace. Tross. Uh, let's see, defensive alliance with you. Um, yeah, I, I could do that. Okay, somebody just raised that settlement down there. Oh, was it the beastman that did that? The great vortex is under attack. Yes, yes. Do you shut up and go away, old man? Oh, okay, they did. Imminent rebellion on the chill road. Okay, well. That'll be what you're going to be dealing with here, uh. Boyo. Uh, let's see. Well, that's a decent-sized garrison. Uh, no touch. Yeah, they might be able to give me a somewhat decent fight. I say somewhat. I don't know why I did air quotes when you guys can't even see my face. Probably because I'm still like... Ooh, it's going to be a choke point fight. This will be fun. I'll have the advantage because I've got rage units. The other cavalry won't be able to bother me that much. Although it depends if they decide to charge me, because if they charge me, then yeah, I, I'll I'll have some, I'll have a bit of issues. And saying that, I also won't be able to flank them, so it will be pretty much entirely dependent upon my range. Yeah, because I'm not gonna throw in my witch elves, because they're they're not line holders. Same with the corsairs. So pretty much it'll be up to my spearmen, my dreaded spears. Uh, did, did I touch on exactly what... Oh, yeah, I said it was like a slower episode that was just kind of setting up the story, which I like. I prefer that as opposed to just, you know... Like, uh, in Volume 2, they had the whole food fight thing. Yeah, that was entertaining, but it wasn't really setting up the story. Uh, but they did set it up with uh, the Cinder and uh, Roman and all that, but that was kind of in the background, it felt like. Uh, volume 3... Volume 3, I think, did the perfect combination of both because they were setting up the story, which was a tournament... And we also got some pretty good action. Or, it was, I mean, it was, you know, it was an opener. It wasn't like, oh, yeah, this is great. But they, uh, you know, they really got to show off how good the animation was. Oh, yeah, and then TFS released, uh, volume, or er, volume, um, episode eight of the Alucard series that they're doing. And <laughs> they had this awesome, uh, because it was the episode where Alexander um, Anderson dies, and they did an, a, uh, was it an Alexander Hamilton? Uh, it was it was the Hamilton uh, play thing. They did a whole skit on that for their end credits. Let's see, are they? Yeah, I, they definitely are. Okay. Well, if we hang out in the woods, a their cavalry won't be as effective. But, but, my range won't be as effective. Okay, so you guys will protect here. And witch elves. You'll protect this side. With the potential to flank. And you will sit in the middle. So, yeah, we're going to be fighting in the forest. But, uh, yeah, it was basically the Alexander uh, Anderson send-off. And then they also killed uh, the Pope dude, whose 
name I completely forgot. Oh, we got a spell. Dark Conduit. Okay, where are me witches at? Taking their sweet time is what they're doing. Oh, that's a... Okay. Yeah, let's wait for him to... Oh. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, so it causes damage, but it sacrifices the vigor. Okay, then you lot form up here. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to see what the fuck's going on. Oh, which else versus trolls? That ain't gonna end well. Man, those dread spears are getting curb stomped. Okay, so yeah, I need to be picky on when I use that spell. Okay, then. You guys. Set to guard mode. Nope, they've all gone batshit. I think that's how this unit's... Okay, well, they're not fighting anybody. Not really. Alright, here we go. Okay, that wasn't bad. I say it wasn't bad. It wasn't particularly good, though. Okay. Alright, well that'll affect their melee attack, but that's about it. Oh, attack them. Yeah, which else are fighting things they really should not be fighting. Okay, aim at the trolls, or don't, because they're fleeing. Alright, just form up there. Alright. I think it's called Murderous Prowess. I think it's the name of the buff. Yeah, they're starting to break now. Oh good, they're auto, or they auto acquired them. Oh man, which which gels are getting their ass? All right, get out of there, ladies. Get out of there. You're they're fucking you up. Yeah, which gels are not very good against trolls. That is a give me though. Yeah, I probably would have been better off just out of resolving this. Right, let's peel you guys off. We'll have you attack them. Or at least swing around. So they're out of the way. I don't I don't mind if any of the dread spears get wiped out. That's not a problem. Okay, yeah, chase them down. You get back over here. Oh, I said that sounded like murder burst for a second. Because every now and again, like when he talks, his accent will drop. Which, <laughs> his reaction to volume 5, I guarantee it's going to be nothing but him squeeing. Speaking of which, I should probably catch up on... I'm not the biggest fan of Ruby Chibi, but... It's, it, I mean, it's, it's funny. 
at se- with se- certain segments. It's definitely a lot more, uh, it's got a lot more mature humor than I thought it would. All right, let's try... Okay, so yeah, that's actually a really good ability. All right, so we all left fighting. All right, somebody's fighting. Yeah, I know she's exhausted. These two. What are we fighting? Oh, the general. Eh, what I don't get is how they're not routing yet. I'm also curious if they're gonna rally back. And then who's chasing who back here? Oh, the witch elves. Yeah, get back here. I don't see them rallying back. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of fighting in the woods because you can't hardly see what's going on. Are these guys unbreak? Yeah, okay, they're unbreakable. That's what it is. There's me, General. Okay, yeah, as soon as that spell breaks from its cooldown, that should be enough to take care of these guys. If they don't get killed outright. Okay, yeah, they're slicing and dicing them. And once they're dead, that should be it. I think we end up losing. Ooh. Yeah, my witch elves took the real beating, though. That was because they were fighting trolls and... I don't know if the warhounds necessarily hurt them. Uh, how many kills do they get? 75, 109, 54. Okay, so yeah, they still got stuff done. Corsairs, not so much. Spearman did well. Yeah, my range, they weren't going to get anything out of this just because it's it's in the forest. Alright, so what we will do... Line you guys up here. Okay, never mind. We win. Yeah, close victory. That's a fair assessment. Actually, not really, when you think about it. I don't understand the rating, the rating system of the battles you fight in this game. They're very, very inconsistent. That in the game tends to ignore... Um... I'll wait for this load screen to finish, because I think I just saw it skip like three seconds. Damn, load screens. Yeah, there, I saw it skip two. Okay. Crushing victory. But, the, because the game doesn't really consider, like, the strategic purpose of the battle you're fighting, it just grades you based upon the actual fight itself. Alright, so I'm hoping it's, like, the most recent one that was occupied is where the, the riot will take place. I could get one of those. That would slow it down a bit. Let's see. I can get that. So I can kind of boost my uh, thingy what's it's a bit. Oh yeah, then we can get one of these. Let's see. Name of power of your name of power, martial name of power. And yeah, let's go with Aristot Ar Ar aristocratic. Bleh. Can't speak. Growth plus 20 income from trade agreements. Casualties capture post battle income loot post battle. Yeah, I like the tormentor. Okay, and then... Okay, so yeah, you're gonna hang out here, deal with that rebellion. 
Okay, well, yeah, since I don't really have to worry about them, I won't be too fussed about, like, oh, I gotta get this garrison built up. Let's right, so we get one of them. I'll we'll get two of them. Actually, no, four of them. Ah, do I want four of those? Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll stick with four. That'll do. Then we'll get some spears. And then I think I'll drop a sorceress in her army. Maybe. Maybe, possibly, could be. Yeah, that'll do. Yes, thank you, game. And then I'm eventually going to shuffle his army. Oh, hello. Set the sails. Imminent rebellion. Yes, we know. Uh, yeah, we'll get that. I still have, like, disloyalty here. Or not disloyalty, but, uh, penalties. All right, then we'll get that. And with that final one, we'll be able to get that uh, other building, so that'll be my main HQ essentially all set up. Cruelty and violence. We'll take nine, nine. Actually, what level is Malakith at? Level 12, okay. As long as his level's ahead of everybody else, then I, loyalty shouldn't be too much of an issue. As long as I have my generals actively doing stuff. And then once I get Marathi, I I don't yeah I don't have to worry about loyalty with her. But not in all honesty, I'm I feel like loyalty should be applied to all the factions to a certain extent. And she raised it to the ground, except for factions like say the Lizardmen. I think the Lizardmen, that should be like one of the perks, is like they don't have to worry about loyalty. Or the dwarves. Oh no, dwarves could turn on each other. Yeah, I think I think dwarves have been known to like bear grudges against one another. Wood elves. Hiles and wood elves are kinda iffy though. Because wood elves are pretty much unified together with the single goal, with the singular goal. High elves, I think, are the same. They'll just politically play each other. Like I don't think they would militaristically uh, challenge one another, but politically they'll outplay each other and that type of thing. It's like subtle opposition, not open opposition. I'm actually surprised that the Skaven are ahead of. Uh... The Lizardmen. Of course, the Lizardmen have been kind of, like, held back because they allied with the human faction and haven't been able to really expand hardly at all. And I... Uh, I don't want a defensive alliance with you, but I will give you military access. I think sooner rather than later, I'm going to turn south and march on the Lizardmen. Just so I can knock out one of my competitors. You want a non-aggression fact, do you? Speak of the devil. Yeah, because we're, we're going to be fighting the High Elves here soon. Alright, let's kill these rebels. Boom. 
Free XP. And I got a free level out of that. Tyrant. I don't really need that. War leader. I will take that. Ooh, Lord Ray. Yes, definitely that. Yeah. I think that's for local regions only, though. Is it local or faction wide? Oh, faction wide. Nice. Oh yeah, definitely wanted that. Okay, so. Send you back that away. The very air is tainted. And we'll get that. We'll hop over to Iron Frost and occupy that. I shall destroy! God, 336. Jesus. That was a very bizarre word I just said there. I meant to say Jesus, and it sounded all gibberish. A corruption is spreading. Uh, we'll repair that. And yeah, I'm gonna get another one of those because I need to. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have a rebellion the next uh, thingy. What's it? Uh, yeah, the Mung are definitely getting wiped out rather rapidly. Every time I click her, he says that. I think this dude's like got a hard on for her. Adrenaline rush, and we don't need it. That, however. And we'll level you up. <laughs> he just randomly says this stupid shit. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll start working on that as well, because I will make her a, uh, a field agent at some point. Like our upgrade available. Uh, let's see, what do we get? Experience plus one, arc growth plus one. Yeah, let's get that. Imminent rebellion. Oh crap, they're gonna pop up at the Mung, Mung encampment. No All right, Malekith, you're gonna have to like haul ass over here. And let no, yeah, that's right, because they're gonna rebel the very next turn. Now, even if they tear it down, it won't be the big or the biggest deal in the world. And yeah, since the high elves are starting to creep over here, I'm definitely going to need to, like, buffer that place up. <laughs> Shagrath! Who knew the lead singer of Demi Borchier has a, uh, elven city named after him? Or a, uh, is that a Dark Elf province or not? Dreadwood, eh, yeah, I'm gonna say so. Maybe. No? Eh. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think it is. Alright. Uh, did I move, what's his ass down here? Okay, he's, so he's like way, way down here then. Yeah, like I said, this map is pretty flippin' big. Vicious Dreadlord. Okay. What do we got? Sail, damn you. Uh, let's get that. Okay. Not a bad thing to have. The especially with him waits. nearing enemy territory. Okay. And... Where's the imminent rebellion taking place again? Okay, I don't know why it's plopping me there. Yeah, because I don't know if it's the first settlement you take, or if it's the most current one, or the most recent one you took. Let's see. Rebellion. Well, maybe if maybe if I'm lucky, my ally there will march back and take them out for me. Unless, of course, yeah, I don't, okay, so they didn't pop up there, so they popped up where, uh... Oh, what the hell do you want? No. Yeah, because if they didn't pop up there, then... Okay, so now... Alright, so they're at war with each other. Faction destroyed. It's, uh... 
Flexland and the Blue Vipers are at war. What do you want? You want a non-aggression pact? Um. Ah, uh, no. I don't know why the beastmen are trying to make a alliance with me. Okay, <laughs> so there's two armies here that are raiding me. All right, let's kill chaos. Got me a nice chunk of replenishment, too. Alright, so that was handy. Alright, what else we got back here? Diplomatic relations. Venturing party. Monster slayer. Fertility specialist. A vile corruption is spreading. It's only at a negative seven now, so that's... Headed in the right direction. Okay, so yeah, in fact, you do not have to head that way, dude. Uh, let's see, instead. I think I'll just have you chill out in Grand for now. And I might have him do those quest battles as well. Boom. Now oh, we got a banner. Sweet. What do we nip off of him? Banner of Swiftness. Speed plus 15. I'll give that to her. Give it to Avril Lavigne. Onwards! Onwards! Untouchable, undefeatable! Do not cease! Thralls move! Okay, so the beastmen are raiding. You failed me, but you still gained EXP, so hey, it's okay in the end. Ah, oh, Beast Spin using the Underway, or. Oh, they use the Force Path. Yeah, Beast Paths in the middle of the freaking tundra here. People are always displeased. It's two turns, her army will be largely done. Yeah, that place is going to have another have rebellion soon. Plotting a course. Hmm. The ocean awaits. Although I wonder if the freaking uh, I wonder if the Skaven are occupying that. Probably have Serena wipe them out. Alright, it's in my turn. Oh, have a Levine gained a rank. Sweet. You want a peace treaty, no. <laughs> he wants a peace treaty because we're at these down there about ready to bitch slap him. What? You want a military alliance? I'm gonna say no. Imminent Rebellion, of course. Alright, so who's raiding me where? Horn Trespasser. Wait, that's actually in my fro- oh shit it is, isn't it? Wait, seriously it is? Well, that's fucking annoying. Oh yeah, kill him. Oh, what kind of an assassin are you? There. Better your chances for next time. 
Uh, would you be able to pull it off? 24% chance, not likely. But now. 28, nope. Okay, so I've got two Beastmen armies raiding me. That's always lovely. Always good for, you know, public appeals. Alright, so let me go ahead. Move her up there. And then, what else do we need for your army? Ooh, we can get the uh, Black Guards. Oh, we can get Hydras! Ooh. Uh, okay, yeah, what do you need? Spearman, that's what you need. Okay. Let's move you there. And we'll get rid of all of them. Three of them. Plus a war hydra. And that's that will be the army we use for our quest battle. Serena, yeah, she's moved, and then we'll take Bear Island. Plotting a course. Uh, let's get aggression. Set the sails. All right, yeah, I think I'll do a treasure hunt in there. See what happens. Okay, so the, yeah, the high elves are already, like, starting to beat the shit out of... Oh, no, they're beating the shit out of the... The Chaos Dudes. Or the Norskins. Oh, yeah, so can I get a Sorceress? Yes, I can, but only at rank 1. Vicious warrior. Ah, well. Cease your provocation! Actually... No capacity, hero rank plus four for sorceresses. We won't be able to get that. That'll be a little bit. Eh. Yeah, I think I can be bothered to get a uh, level one. We'll get a fire one. Aggressive Seraph. Charge vault. Yeah, because I'm not really going to be using her for... Yeah, I think I'll use that one. I'll get that one. And what shall we name you? Hmm. Elvira. That's what we'll name you. Okay. Grand, what do you need? What do we need in Grand? Is that. I'm always happy to have more Witch Elves or Death Hags, rather. And I can get another Black Ark, should I desire one. Yeah, I think I'm pretty much done here. They're always displeased. You people are hard to impress. Yeah, because I definitely need to start getting rid of this fucking Chaos Corruption. What's this? Oh, we got two Beastmen hordes running around down here. Bloody Beastmen! No. You're the one that declared war on me, so you're gonna have to deal with it, dude. Actually, I might just get that black arc just to curb some of the slaves I have. Or volunteers, I should say. I need to get rid of some volunteers. Stonehorn Tribe and that... I can't even say their damn name. Il Sildra Tor. Alright, so the blue vipers got wiped out. So much for the savage orcs. Orcs to kill. Alright, that's done. Sweet. Cruel dreadlord. What violent delights! 
Okay, let's wipe them out. Uh, not cry. All right, what to get you? We'll max that out, I think. And yeah, you just kind of chill out there. The buildings are crumbling. All right, we'll rip that down. Pair that. Pair that. All right, so where did the rebellion plop up at? Oh, right there. Actually, just head straight for there. And then... Okay, so now we just gotta wait for that Hydra to get done. Let's see, what to get you, sir? Let's get you that. That. And I think I shall get you. Hold one chariot. Oh, to be honest, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna get you. Alright, so we'll have her take them out. Let's have you kill him. Oh, come on, dude. He had a 41% chance of success and you failed me. You failed me, Jimmy. Ooh. That's a maybe. Reaper bolt throwers. That's another maybe, too. Yeah, I'll go with the one that I've got going. Mammon available. Yeah, is there anything that, like, negates chaos corruption? No, but there is that one. That'll, that'll help. All right, so let's go see what's on this island. Oh, whoops, did I go too far? Oh, no, it's just... Marathi's tidbits. Okay, you... Treasure hunt. Deep beneath the ruined cigarette on the central plaza of this ancient, deserted city, you find a hidden door and cautiously push it open. Inside the chamber, and on an elaborate throne, sits a skeleton holding an ancient sword. As you approach, the blade emits a strange purple glow. Uh, take the sword. Cursed. Oh, leadership negative three. <laughs> Somewhere there's a reason some things just fall through. Tyrant of Nagaroth. What armor do you got? Oh, that's why I gave you that so you could. So you would remain loyal. Okay, so. Eh. I'm not really going to be using him for much combat, anyways. He's pretty much just my explorer. Nothing else I'll use him for, like, security. Okay, so I might actually, or I may end up actually having to backstab one of my allies because it's more than likely going to be them if I can't confederate with them. Master of cruelty, what plight do you bring before the Black Court? What if I offered you money? Low chance of success. All right, well let's go batshit with it. Moderate chance for 45,000. Although that would give me access to their thingy what's it's that that's tempting. Speak. Do not presume my patience, but speak all the same. However you mind, I guess. Cruel dreadlord. Come now, time is precious. Speak, speak. Holy shit, there are certain things ahead of mine. How the hell did that happen? Tyrant, the How about you? Nope. And cruel. Noble born. Command me. We must ask you to be quick. We do not. Well, at least it's nice to see all the Dark Elf factions getting along, although. Kind of annoyed that somehow uh, Hag Graith is ahead of me. Don't know how that's working out, but oh well, what can you do? Alright, so I think this will be a good spot to end the video, folks, so I shall see you all next time.